100 foods to eat before you die. I've been traveling and eating all around the world and here are the 100 foods you need to eat before you die. And these are in no particular order, so add them to your food bucket list. Number eight, CNT Lachan. I'm smelling something. Oh, let me show you what I'm seeing right now. She is like a Lachan chopping samurai. Oh my. Good lord, that looks delicious. I smell it. I can almost taste it through the glass. Oh, that meat is just glistening. It's like, it's like looking at the Grand Canyon of pigs. Oh man. I'm trying to get as close as I can to it. Hi. God. Look at her knife skills. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That's not a knife. That's, that's like a sword. That's something Crocodile Dundee would be proud of. Here we go. All that stitching is coming out. It's like a roast pork surgeon. Oh, look. Seriously, look at so much herbs in there. This is this is so glorious. I mean, I'd rather see this in any Avenger movie right now. Oh, 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 the stroke of the sword landing. Oh, this is crazy. Greatest show on earth. It's it's downstairs? My pig is downstairs. Oh, here, here's my pig. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, here's my pig. Oh, here we go. Guys, this is my pig. This is what, I mean, one of the primary reasons I came to the Philippines for. It has my name on it. My heart is pounding right now. It's delivered to me on a boat. Oh, it's leaking. Oh, it's so greasy and oh, so oily and so awesome. It's delivered to me on this massive boat. Now the moment I've been waiting for, the unveiling of this pig. I feel like I'm at a ribbon cutting ceremony. One, two. Oh, it's sticking a little to the skin. We gotta save every every single piece of the skin. Oh wow, right away guys. It's just this intense herby flavor just, just exuding from the pig itself. Even though um, this pig's been sitting here for like 10 minutes, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but that skin is still deliciously crunchy. I'll get my mic closer. You hear that? By the way, I should have said, um, if you're not really into meat, uh, maybe don't watch this video because it's gonna get it's gonna get meatier from here. First thing I need to do, I gotta try a piece of the skin. Oh, I penetrated the skin and that thing is like crispy as thin ice. I think I'm hitting a bar here. Oh, you guys see that? It's all crackling around um, where, where my knife went in. Let me take out this piece of skin. Oh, 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 oh. Now I had the chanchu kaka china uh, in Peru, which is the, the, the roasted pig there. And if you remember, the skin was like bubbly and crackling, but it was thick. Now this looks like just, just like a thin piece of paper with a little bit of fat attached to it. It's, oh my God. Please, YouTube, invent smell vision I beg you. It's just a combination, herbs, garlic, fire, just the most heavenly porky scent you can ever imagine, all right? Imagine that times a thousand and you'll get this right here. Oh, you guys hear that? First bite of fresh lechon. Oh my God. Of all my dreams and fantasies about roasted pig and there has been a lot, it never was as good as that bite. That's just infused with every single heavenly fragrance, herby, garlicky, Porky flavor, you can imagine. It's all in there. Also get that hint of smoke, but above all, the crunch factor of that skin. I'm so impressed by that. I want to try a piece of the meat here. And I do want to see what kind of herbs is inside this pig as well. Oh, this is the rib. Oh my good God, it's just like falling apart in my hands. Oh my God. I took a bite, oh man. That's still hitting me wave after wave. First of all, it was falling apart as I was grabbing. I could barely hold on to it. That's how tender it was. Infused with everything, whatever is inside. Really, really flavorful. You definitely don't need any more salt. You don't need any more other, that kind of ingredient. And just grabbing that meat around that rib right there. Hmm. What I love about this right now is not only is it just ridiculous from the outside, the flavor is throughout the entire pig. Oh, another thing I wanna do. I wanna get a piece of pig butt because that's where all the great pulled porks come from, you know? That meat was less fatty, but man, regardless of whatever piece of uh, meat you take from this pig, flavor is, is, is just everywhere. And although this is my pig, you know, I said my channel, it is awfully big. But luckily I have a lot of Filipino friends joining me today to just eat this pig. This is supposed to feed 15 people, so I think, we got like 10 people here. I think we can knock it out. These are my friends here uh, here in Cebu. Actually, 
I've known some of you guys for like a year, but I never met you. So, so finally we get to meet. Let me, let me just quickly introduce everybody. This is Bern, this is Leanne, AJ, Jackie, Anthony, Tom, Garrick, and Kimmy. First of all, I gotta ask you guys, so when do you usually eat a whole pig? Every, every time there's something, there's, there's, there's something, something else. Like graduation. Yeah. Uh, yes. Just whenever it's a special occasion, you get a whole pig. You guys also mentioned like when you go to the beach, you get a whole pig? Yep. Yeah. yeah. If there's any excuse you can to just eat a pig. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I need to move here because like, for me it'd just be, hey, it's a Thursday. <laughs> let's, let's get a whole pig. So I guess, let, let's just dig in and then I can show you guys kind of what's inside this pig as well. That skin is just crackling and making me happy right now. Oh my goodness. Then now I guess we can take, take a look at what's inside. Banana leaves and definitely a lot of herbs. And I understand you guys um, eat this with rice, right? Like this, what is this called? Huso, or happy rice. So, so, And it means heart because it, look, it looks like a heart. It's like a Chinese zhongzi. Yeah, dig in guys. And do we have sauce too? Yeah, yeah. sauce. Oh, wait, this is the blood. Yeah. This is what I ate a couple days ago. It's, it's pig's blood. Yeah. And you guys said it's made with the inside of the, of the pig. Yeah. Oh, this is the sauce I use. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Vinegar and garlic, couple of my favorite things in the world. Like my bag is all bloody. <laughs> Let's dig in, guys. Just, just tearing it off. Look at that. Piece of skin and meat. I want a piece of fresh garlic on this. I feel like the greatest thing is having like, like a piece with, uh, with some meat and, and skin and fat at the same time. This is a great piece. And the vinegar and garlic, that rocks it. Oh, ah, ah stab it. Ah. I'm gonna go for some pork ribs now. That's the best part. Yeah, the meat right off the bones. Look at this. Oh. Even the bones are flavorful. Really, like, the, the, like, the, the yeah. smoke and herbs like soaked into the yep. bones. Yep. Yeah? Yep. This, Guys, no kidding. Come and suck on these bones if you ever get a little on here. I'm jealous. You guys get to eat this anytime you want. How often do you eat this? As much as possible. <laughs> Fiesta, beach party. As long as you have an excuse to eat it. <laughs> Even not. <laughs> if I was here, I'd be like, ah, oh, it's Tuesday. It's time for more Luton. I'm gonna try with some of this rice here. Oh man. I love pig legs. Like, Trotters. This is one of my favorite parts of a pig because it's so gelatinous. I mean, this is the best part of a pig feet. There's all that cartilage and tendon on the bones. Mm. Oh yeah. Hit the tongue? Yeah. You guys eat the tongue? Yeah. All right, so this is the pig's tongue. You look afraid, Burn. You want a piece? You don't want to... Who wants some tongue? Yeah, you have something. Here you go. Pass, pass, pass down, pass down the top. All right, let's try it. This tastes like pork. You should try some. It just tastes like regular pork. I think it's good. Tom, you gonna have some tongue? All right. Yeah, Tom's gonna try some tongue. Here you go. There you go. It's psychological. It, it is. It's a little. It's psycho. It's very lean. I think the, the meat is kind of lean, but it's not. It's not tough. It's like very, very juicy meat. There you go, buddy. There you go. Actually, it tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it just, yeah, it, it tastes like it's just, you know, a, a stringy meat. It's not, it's, it's not anything weird. Garrett, a yo, Garrett just, the rest of it. yeah. Well, Garrett just took a bite out of the tip. How was that? But guys, seriously, this has been such an incredible experience. I mean, this is, this is the culture. Like here, this is what you eat. And this is fantastic. And I'm so happy to share it with all of you guys. One last thing I want to try is that. Oh yeah, I got to try this pig blood that's made from the inside of the lechon here. Okay, I like this version. A lot less, no. A lot less than the one I had before because I feel like there's not enough vinegar in here. So I'm tasting a lot of the innards, which, you know, I'm okay, I, I do like innards, but I feel like a little more vinegar at the last place, that was a lot better. But uh, the Lachana Adventure for today, it's not over, because after this, we're going to another place. We're driving all the way there to eat their Lachana, because you guys said that's the number one place yes. in the Philippines. Yes. Okay, you, you have risen my expectations. I already, I already think this is the best thing I've had. So I, I'm really excited for the next place. All right, we'll finish up and we'll see you guys outside. We're here in Car Car and we're going to this, uh, the public market. And supposedly there's a whole section of people just selling lechon. We're gonna follow Leanne because she knows this, this market really well. Yo, this, this market has everything. Look at it, different types of rice, 
Vegetables. Whoa, that's, that guy's walking with a lechon on his head. Wow, look at this. Is that good? Yes. <laughs> banana cube? Yeah. Deep fried. Smells like candied banana. It's less mushy than I thought because I thought, you know, it's a banana. It's actually really chewy. Oh, it's hot. I like yeah. the outside sugar. So the banana itself is not all that sweet. Most of the sweetness really comes from the sugar. This will fill you up if you eat the whole thing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna share it because more space for the pig. There you go. <laughs> this guy's, check this out. What is it? Like, uh, bolo. It's bolo for farming. For cutting it's like a machete almost. Yeah. So it's harvesting or yeah. like cutting down, like opening a coconut. Yeah. And I love, this is all handmade it looks like. Look at this, this is beautiful. Guys, check this out. This is super innovative. Look at this. This is garlic individually wrapped. You can just use one and then, and then the rest should stay fresh. And you can wrap it up on your neck and ward off Dracula. This is how we transport the eggs. He has to be really careful. That's a lot of passengers right there. Not a single broken egg. That takes some skills. They cook this here, right? Yeah. So this is not like they cook oh. it from a factory. No, this... no, no. They cook it from like their homes or something oh. and then they bring it. Wow, that looks great. Oh, thank you. Thank you, look at this. It's like a pork rind, but it has a big portion of meat on here. This was basically transformed from a pork belly. See all that lean meat? That's where the fat was, and that's the crispy skin. And check out this crunch. Oh my goodness. Oh, happy pork day, everybody. Oh. Oh. That's awesome. I love the actual meat on here. So besides just getting the beautiful texture of the skin, which is great, like ridiculously crunchy. The meat and fat adds a slightly less crunchy, more crumply textured and dimension to this thing. This is definitely um, the most unique uh, chicharron I ha I've had because in the US, like I was saying, we have the pork rind, the, the skin. We don't have the fat in the in the. No, that's it. Um, we're we're kind of waiting around because. This place is sold out of Luchan, like sold out. So they're making more and they're bringing it to the to the stands and it should be there in about the next 15 minutes, 20 minutes or so. So we're gonna have fresh Luchan. Can't beat that. Oh my God. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh, look at this. Oh, that is a massive hog. I did not realize it was gonna be this big. That is huge. That just arrived. Uh, half, like a third of it is already, like a quarter of it is already gone. I feel like I just entered a whole new world here. So we got a kilo of the lechon. Oh my God, this, look at this. Oh, she is awesome. Oh, look at this. Thank you, thank you. So she gave me some uh, scan to simple. Tons of fat on the skin. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. That was completely different than what I had this morning. I'm not saying it's better or worse, it's just different. It doesn't have the garlic or herby flavor of the of the lechon I had this morning, but the skin is meltier. It's almost like it's kind of conjoined with the fat and the bulge just melts. So you get the slightest, most beautiful little crunch and it's just, just pure, blissful, juicy fat. I can't wait to eat more of this. They're amazing. And on the inside, I can see scallions. Oh, wow. Uh, and this time there's no uh, protection glass and the fat is just flying towards me. So I think I'm just gonna stand here and go like this. Look at this guys. This is all oil splat. <laughs> because I'm standing too close to the lechon and none of it got in my mouth. Like mm. this whole pig, I saw they have two pigs here. It all sold out in a matter of like 15 minutes. So we got a kilo. Oh my God, it's like covered in fat and grease. Look at this. A nice mix of uh, skin, fat, Got a little bowl in there, meat. One obvious difference uh, from this place and the other place is that the other place uses a lot of herbs, a lot of garlic, you can, you can smell that right away. Not here, they use more scallions, but I tried a piece of skin earlier, it's insane. Okay, let me try another piece and show you guys. Look, this, there's a piece right here. The skin is not nearly as thin as the one from before, but you can see, you see how juicy this is. If you don't like fat, you might have a problem with this, but this, I love fat, my, my mouth's watering even right now. The skin, Again, extremely crunchy. It's like I said before, a uh, pork chip. Oh, yeah. This is really different from the lechon I had this morning, at least the skin. It's just such a subtle, delicate crunch. And then everything changes from there. Mm. Pure, hoggy, melty bliss. And there's not a lot of seasoning 
here that, that's hitting the skin and the fat, you can taste a lot more of the pig here than this morning. But this is like the perfect amount of flavor. And also, I never had pork skin melt in my mouth so quickly and softly before in my life. It's just the most melty piece of pork skin you will ever have. You will ever put into your mouth, I, I think, because I never had anything like this before. All right, couple chews, couple crunches. And it just feels like your mouth, your tongue, is just flooded with that absolutely wonderful porky fat. And I'm telling you, it's not overwhelming. It's not like you just, you know, took a took a mouthful of, of oil or butter. It's not like that at all. I gotta get one more piece. I'm kind of really glad that they ran out when we first came here because this literally is as fresh as you can get straight from the oven. Oh, oh my God. There's some food items that you will remember eating for the rest of your life. This is one of them. I think if you had to choose between CNT this morning and coming here, if you can do it, I think you should come here. I mean, th this morning, not taking anything away. Love the herbal flavor, love the garlic flavor. There's more spices and flavoring in that pig, but this pig, man, the spotlight is on the pig. And you're not gonna find much that's better than this. Now, outside of the skin, I really wanna try a piece of meat. Oh, it's oh, always burning hot, guys. I can't even hold on to this for very long. This piece has got a nice uh, mixture of fat and, and pork meat. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit, watch this. Oh my goodness. It's like, it's like wringing out a, a dish cloth. Mm. First of all, this is the most ridiculously juicy bite of pig. The meat is chewy without being tough. And every time you close your teeth together, it just oozes more and more juice and flavor. With a little vinegar and garlic, I think this thing will be amazing. Okay, the crew's all here, and we actually found some uh, vinegar and, what is this, papaya? Yeah. Papaya, and garlic. Papaya. So what do we do with this? Do we dip you it? Mix it in. You mix it in? Yep. Oh, okay. So all this just goes in. Yep. Okay, give it a little toss. Dig in, dig in. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah? With the vinegar, yeah. Yeah, that skin, I feel like yeah. it's 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 so different from this morning mm -hmm. because it's like it's so crunchy. It's it's the crunch is subtler. Yeah. But it's it's more you know juice and more juice and more fat. Part, by the way. Oh. oh man. It was so good. The crunch. Oh my god. You guys like this better or the one this morning? This better. Because yeah? Just because it has more meat in it. More yeah. meat, yeah. more more fat, more yeah. juice. Yeah. I think that's true. I think if you guys if you want more like herbally flavor, like flavorful, more complex flavor, then I think CNT, uh, yeah. because they put so much stuff in the in the pig. Yeah. But this is just like if you just want a crazy hog to just blast you in the mouth with some ins insane flavor explosion, this is where you go. I've never experienced crunch like that in my life. Yeah. I don't think even Captain Crunch has. But <laughs> this is, is gonna be something like I, I really would not ever forget. And thank you guys so much for taking yeah. us here. Yeah. You guys are awesome. And thank you so much for helping me eat this pig this morning. And yeah. we still got some pig, we're gonna finish that. And then uh, I think that wraps up this awesome pig day. <laughs> but it might not be over because every time I say a video is over, we might find something else to eat and it just keeps going on. But at least for now, thank you guys so much for taking me here again and thank you guys so much for watching. And until we all eat again, see you later. <laughs>